Snacks, snacks, going to get some snacks. Getting better snacks to bring to the US team. London. It smells like London. <laughs> it smells so horrible. So Otta and I went shopping in London and I have brought the snacks here to the LA office for the Bring Me team to try out. Let's get to testing. Beef Wellington, hand-cooked crisps. And by crisps, they mean chips. I don't want to say nothing super bad, but it smells like feet. Wow, it really does smell like Beef Wellington. Doesn't taste like it though. They actually taste a lot better than they smell. I don't know if I like it, but I don't know if I dislike it. It's quite nice. What is Beef Wellington? Do they even serve that here? I don't know if this tastes like Beef Wellington because I've never had Beef Wellington before, but if it tastes like these chips, I think I'll like it. It tastes pretty good, but it doesn't taste like Beef Wellington. Why would you take steak and then cover it in puff pastry? Why? If these were an option at a party, I'd probably go for these. I keep getting drawn back. Kind of want to have another one. Yeah, no. Nope. I'm done. I think the American version would be like meatloaf chips. That sounds so good. I would totally eat that. Beef Wellington. Sounds fancy. It looks high class, but just like in America, they only filled it halfway. So, two stars. Ooh, flying sauces. If they like these, I'd be very surprised. You have sherbet in the middle, and people used to break off the top and put the sherbet and then snort the sherbet because kids are crackheads. <laughs> Ooh, flying saucers. Oh. They're like hollow. How do you open this? Oh! I'm assuming that this weird white powder inside is the sour. <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh my God, these are awesome. Oh, it's not bad. Chewy, but then it like disintegrates in your mouth. Ugh. Why would you make these? Do you just eat the whole thing? That can't be right. Mmm, mmm, mm hmm I think I'm into it, not sure. If you've had one of those Jesus wafers, that's what it tastes like. Tastes like Hicks cereal, but like just the berries. That like on crack. I wouldn't eat this on a regular day. No melting. It feels American. It's like over the top, made of probably very processed ingredients. I didn't even know they ate sour candy. I feel like they're too fancy for that. They only eat like toffee. <laughs> it's not melting. So after the whole Tide pack craze, this totally makes sense. Yeah. The little uh, surprise that was in here was um, unexpected. These are kind of fun. I think I would throw these around before I ate them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I have to eat it. <laughs> Percy Pig! Oh my god, these are so cute! Mm. This packaging feels very British. Percy. I've never met a Percy in the United States. It just sounds very uppity and British. I'm into it. There's something almost too realistic about it. I'm digging this right here. I'm not sure why it's a pig. It tastes good. I'm trying to figure out the fruit flavor. Oh, it's a lot. Mandarin, apple, elderberry. Oh, there's elderberry in here. That is so British. I like it more now. Oh, yeah, I like this. It reminds me of like, like a mix of now leaders and Starburst. Like Laffy Taffy. Yeah, I could binge these, a whole bag of these, like really fast. Really, really fast. Like I'm one of those people who ain't got a problem with pork. You know, more pork on my fork. You know what I'm saying? But uh, once you get past the look, uh, it's amazing. I'd be friends with Percy if he approves of me eating all of his children. M&S Foods. You're, you're doing good. This is what every child has on their birthday. Like, if you don't have a colon for your birthday, your mum hates you. But obviously, we're not going to take this massive thing. So we can take these miniature colons, which are really cute. You should be knighted, because the country really loves them. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a real caterpillar, right? Uh, it, uh, Colin the caterpillar, he is what he eats. I guess he eats chocolate. Ooh, okay, yeah. this is the one I'm most excited for. Like a little caterpillar. Kinda looks like a bunny. It looks like a rabbit. They're so cute. Oh, Colin looks uh, sad. It smells good. Should I eat him face first or butt first? I'm gonna go butt first. Oh yeah. Oh man, like, 
This is bomb. I think this is my favorite so far. This is really, really good. Mm. This would definitely make it to the final round in the Great British Bake Off. If I was a kid, I'd eat this whole bag. I'd probably eat two of these bags. That's how much I like this, actually. I think this was in development for a long time. They really figured this snack out. In America, we have Tony the Tiger, all those characters, but you're not actually eating them. They're like the mascot. But in these ones, I'm actually eating him. I don't want to eat Colin. Look how cute he is. If I had to choose between Colin or Percy, it's going to be Colin all the way. Oh, I would have been tearing these joints up as a kid, man. I wouldn't call this a caterpillar, though. I'm trying to imagine the queen sitting down and eating one of these out of a little plastic thing. Do you think she does that? I like to think so. She's just like us. I might just move to the UK just to bear children there so that they can have birthday parties so that I can eat the cake. Yeah, I got extra. What is toxic waste? Literally the most sour sweet in the world. It got banned in the UK for a while. Literally splitting people's tongues and then they brought it back. <laughs> it's great. And the challenge was to sit through assembly and put one in your mouth and not scream. I hope they cry. <laughs> toxic waste. How'd you get me in a snack? <laughs> Cute name. Can we opt out? Hazardlessly sour candy. I gotta pick a good flavor. The fact that it has two packagings is concerning. I've actually had allergic reactions to sour candy. Not intense, but like bumps on my tongue, specifically from shock tarts. Ah, the things we do for Buzzfeed. This feels not British at all. This is an American candy. I do not buy it. Where was this made? They eat this there? And they make fun of us for our food? Hmm. I love Warhead, so I'm really excited. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I got a lemon one too. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I've had sour things before, but this by far, it's like you just taste sour. People enjoy this? Oh, do I have to eat the whole thing? <laughs> Ooh. Tearing up. Woo. That's really good. Out of you, bitch. <laughs> it's getting better. Woo. Aw, the sour's gone. That was so good. That was my favorite one. Oh, that was mean. I mean, I feel like I just burnt all my taste buds off. I need to go lie down. I made it through to the other side. Now it's just sweet. Kind of like people a lot of the time, you know? Get the sour things off and they're nice and sweet underneath. Oh, that was even worse. I just bit into it and it got even more sour. <laughs> you know what, though? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is the most sour candy I've ever eaten in my entire life. These should be stay banned. Don't give these to children. Don't give these to anyone. Can I have this? So, that was way too easy for you. Mm -hmm. If you're really tough, you'll eat two at the same time. Okay, it's okay, I will. I'll do two, a lemon and an apple. Mm. Mm. You know like pain and pleasure, you know like so, it's so painful, it's like good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do like it, it's really good. I'm just scared to talk because I'm gonna start drooling. That was really freaking sour. But it was almost like to the point where it's like, was it that sour? Am I, yeah, can I do it again? Mm. Boy, I am having an awakening. <laughs> I used to eat sour gummies, take the gummies out and just eat the sour powder at the bottom. Wow, British kids need to toughen up. Oh, I shouldn't do this twice. <laughs> Why?